Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit. Today we're going to try a Sweet Sue whole fully cooked chicken in a can. Yep, a whole chicken in a can. At least that's what the can says, and it even shows a whole chicken on the can. So it's got to be true, right? I hope so, because I got these on sale, and they were still $17.50 each. Ouch! I know, that's a lot for a chicken. So let's open these up and see what's inside. Before I open these up to see what's inside, let's look at the nutritional information. The sodium content is pretty low for a canned meat product at 150 milligrams per two ounce serving. So for a typical four ounce serving, there's only 300 milligrams of sodium, 180 calories, 14 grams of fat, with only four being saturated. So it's nice to see something in a can that will not immediately send your blood pressure sky high. The instructions say to chill before removing from the can, so I put the cans in a refrigerator overnight. And then they say to place the chicken into a 475 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes basting with the broth two to three times. Here's what they look like when you open up the cans, and as you can tell, they look totally different. That's because the one on the right was unintentionally stored upside down. Fat rises to the top, so now all the fat on the can on the right is in the bottom. So let's empty the can with the fat on the bottom first. Now that to me does not look like a whole intact chicken. To me, this looks more like a chicken that was cooked in a slow cooker and then thrown in a can and chilled. As you can tell, it's very tender. It's actually falling apart from being overcooked. Once this is reheated, it's going to turn into a stringy mess. Remember the picture on the can? A whole beautiful roasted chicken. And the instructions say to place the chicken into a 475 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes, basting two to three times. How do you baste this mess? Now let's pour out the other can and hope for better results. Nope, this one looks as bad, actually worse than the first one. Yep, way overcooked and falling apart. I think the only thing this meat would really be good for is something cold like chicken salad. Because again, once it's reheated, it's going to turn into a stringy mess. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to roast and baste this chicken in an oven, so I've poured it all into a pan and now I'm going to lightly warm it through and try my best to prevent it from turning into a stringy mess. After 7 minutes on medium heat, it's heated through, and here's the stringy mess I was afraid of. Here's what two whole chickens in a can look like after being reheated. And I'm sure most people that have forked out $17.50 for a whole canned chicken did not expect this. And once again, I think this chicken would be okay if it was served cold in a salad or something. But I don't understand why they put a whole chicken in a can and mislead people to think that you can reheat it and it's going to look like a whole chicken. So the bottom line is, if you want to buy chicken in a can, save your money and buy the boneless chicken in a can in the tuna fish aisle. The best thing about these chickens was the broth. It was pretty tasty, but that's some expensive broth. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you do not give these a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and come back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for new recipes and cooking videos.